All right, here's where I left off with this uh, cartoon stool. And um, there's my little scene. And uh, I think I decided I wanted to do a little bit more on this scene here. Uh, I want to add some trim, and some walls, and, and some floor. And then I'd also seen um, this an abacus in this cartoon. It's part of the same series, and uh, I thought, hey, that looks that looks cute too. And you know, it's simple stuff. Okay, we're going for very simple stuff. And then if you look at the curtains, really simple. All right, so that's what uh, I'm going to do some work on, and at some point I'm going to do um, one of these floor register or whatever. So um, here's where where we're at. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, that carpet. I'll stay on this layer. And with my 3D cursor right there, I'm going to bring in a cube. And I'm going to bring it up. Anyway, yeah. All right, anyways, I'm just going to scale it really big. face in this one I'm just gonna leave that I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna flip that and I'm gonna take this one and I'll break it out as the floor so I have this kind of thing and uh, I'll need those too high so I look through I'm gonna you know, have, have myself a little bit of a room here in the corner Take this, I'm gonna scale this in the X, and I'm gonna push it down here. I'll get my lace on there. Just have a bit of a room to work in. I think I'll save this as video two. Okay, so that's what I've got. Okay, so now, um, yeah, what to do, what to do. Well, let's go back to material view and let's bring in on the side here that image, one of those images. same one in there and, uh, I'm gonna do color pick for the floor again um, I'm just gonna go with diffuse I think I'm more browner color than that and for the walls, I'm just going to go with Diffuse for now. I'm just going to try to get that orange. Maybe a bit more of that lighter orange if possible. They got wallpaper on there. So we'll make it look a little bit better soon, I hope. Actually, maybe, maybe I do want a lighter color. Okay. And I'm going to take this and scale it and bring it up. And these ones as well, I'm going to uh, bring up. I want that bigger. I think I do, actually not that big. And this one, I'm gonna bring way up here. And 
it um, it's rotated a bit even there actually can I uh, do that set it back to that You just go with that for now. Okay. So let's um, let's build this thing and put it in the floor. Okay. So I'm going to come to a new layer and look down from the top. And we won't make it too complicated. That's gonna work very well for me. Actually, it's not bad. Um, I get a little bit of that curve, just a bit. And then we'll we'll try inset again. See, if, nah, it's gonna cross over. So I'll just. Uh, Move any doubles. Let's grab this face uh, E and um... no, that's not what I want to do. No, I think I grab that face and I'm going to delete it. And I'll grab this edge and then I'll E and S and then I'll scale in the Y. I'll get roughly the size I want. And then I'm going to send this down like that. And then I think I'll take these edges and control B. I might be getting end guns and stuff in there, but I don't really care how much. Actually, let me see if bevel will work on there if I've already. No, yeah, I'll just leave that on there like that. And I'll take down here. I'm going to grab that edge again. Shift do I know, do I a separate piece? Yeah, shift D and P I'll make it as a separate piece. So get that piece there. Oh, let's just bring that down there. Let's uh, scale this in the Y. And uh, what I thought I was gonna do for this. Uh, actually I should probably look and see. We got four. Okay, let's get it. Just have to make a face. Extrude it down a bit. And uh, I'm sure I don't need any of this detail on here. Yeah, that's that's gonna be it for those little pieces that are on the inside there. That's gonna be so down under the floor, so you're not even gonna see it. So it's not gonna be a problem wherever I put it. Um, what I'll do is, yeah, that didn't work out, so uh, let's not do that. E and uh, scale X a little bit, and scale Y a little bit, and extrude it up a little bit. No, I'm not even going to see that. I don't know why I'm bothered with that. Um, I'm going to set my 
cursor to the origin of the 3D cursor. And I'm going to mirror. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I will come in here and let's grab this Shift D, scale this in the X, scale it in the Z, let's bring it out. Let's have a look at the vertices, make sure you got them. Oh, okay. Scale that in the X again. Uh, I think I want them smaller than that, eh? Yeah. I'm not going to curve them or anything. Scale that in the Z. Scale in the X. Something like this. Select that and control L and P to break it out. No, we don't want to do that. We want to set to our geometry. Just want to get that up here. Okay, so bevel's not working very well on that. It's so thin, so we'll grab this edge and this edge, and I'll just I'm just gonna do this. I'm put one edge in there so I get something. And uh, we'll come over here and we'll delete this face and this face. Select it and scale in the Y. Bring it in so it just touches. That's not going to be visible anyhow. And I will start an array here. Give myself some space and do this kind of thing. And I'm also going to rotate in the Y. Uh, no, not like that. What's going on there? Rotate Y. It's, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, which direction they. Oh, does it? On this way. It doesn't matter. I don't know if it matters. Well, let's have a look at how this one does. Okay, so. They, they angle in different directions. I'm not doing that. I'll do the little wheel thing there. So let's just, let's just do that. And then throw in a wheel over here. Alrighty, let's grab that face shift S, cursor to selected, put my 3D cursor there, and bring in a circle, 12, let's go for 16, uh, no, let's go for maybe 18 vertices, rotate Y 90, and scale it down. select it all and go select check or deselect and scale in like that and then I got to get all these outer points here select the outermost points and then I'm gonna do I have that one yeah and then I'm gonna do uh, shift control B I'm gonna do that and select it all B e and S and then I think I'll do W loop tools circle no not yet Select it all, control. And the flip polys, I'll grab it again, and then I'll go E and S, bring it in. Let's try it, I don't know if it really matters. 
Alright, you're all screwed up, so... W. Okay, that's fine, anyhow, I don't care. Alright, let's just fill this. First, merge at center. Good enough. E. Give it some thickness. Do that. And we'll get it together. And then we'll put on the subdivision surface. And we'll maybe like that might be a little bit. Maybe a dim too. Too extreme. A bit too star like. Not very circular. <clears throat> This will be the idea though. Scale out the X, make it thicker. I mean, that would be the idea right there. Okay, so what I would do is I would take all of these pieces and Control G. Let's see if I got everything. Yeah. And that's my little floor register. Okay, so I'll. Take it, Shift G, group, and I'll move this back to the first layer, and we'll see where we're at. And I was thinking of putting it in just in the corner here, into the ground. I'm gonna move the whole room like this. Yeah, I suppose I should move the floor too. Like that. And then I'll take this Shift G group. Move it in. Let's see if that has worked out. Yeah, okay, something like that. Okay. If that's the case, and I might make this a little bigger. Just to accentuate it. If that's going to go in there, like that, then I'm going to cut the grounds and hide those. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add edge loops so that they're just under the edges there. GX. here and another one there. Yeah. and here now I'll try that and I'm gonna grab that face in face selection grab that face and delete it One other thing, actually, when I think about it, is whether or not that needed some thickness. Maybe I have to extrude this down a ways. And then uh, take the whole thing and bring it up a little bit. That's supposed to be on the other side. I don't know if it matters, but anyway, sister, that's what it is. Okay, so there's my little floor register there. And um, material wise, it's just got that. I just, I, I do want it just white. Um, let's switch this over to principled. Okay. And I'll I'll make it I'll make it that white uh, whitish color, but I'll throw on um, roughness will make it zero point three and metallic zero point two. We could try that. Just leave it like that for now. Okay, cool. Now the other thing I want to do 
is some trim on here and uh, how uh, maybe I'll take this face shift D bring it out just a tiny bit scale this in the Z and uh, let's bring it down again okay imagine it was there roughly I'm gonna break this out I'm gonna take that piece like where is control one I think I'm, is I'm looking straight on control one right so um, let's go in and the way I'm gonna do it is how am I gonna do it you know I could just Add a couple of edge loops. Take this face, maybe I'll push it back. No, not like that. Oh, no, no. I'll take these and I'll extrude them forward. And then this edge, I'll just bevel like this. Maybe this top edge. And then get rid of stuff on the side. I need to, I don't know if I need to. Uh, okay, better uh, be really simple, but I'm gonna isolate it. Let's look down here. And gods, the wing gods, doesn't really matter in this case. And I would have that. And just use that. You know? But nah, maybe not like that, eh? Wonder if I should flip it around to even. I could actually do do more here. Okay, hang on. Control one is where it is, yeah, there it is, okay. I think what I would do is I would take, um, maybe I do want those closed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it thicker. So that part sticks out of the wall. Let's give this that uh, material here. Nope. I don't think I want the metallic on it, but it would just be there. And then. Uh, Rotate Z90. Bring it in. I'll do some, some better snapping in a bit, I think. <coughs> I could try snap to face and snap it like that. And I could do the same thing with this one. See how well that worked. That didn't work very well. Uh, is one of them upside down? No.
Okay. Get the curtains out. By the way, while we're at it, on the curtains. I'm gonna bring the specular down on those. I'm gonna squish them a bit more and bring them even over there. <laughs> Not my favorite piece. Okay, that's all right though. Okay, so I got that. I got that and then what I'll do is face again, shift D, and uh, scale it, scale in Z, oh boy, yeah, just short actually, push down here, bring it in here, scale this in the Y, just big enough to, that's fine, uh, that's alright anyhow, yeah, okay, Put some edge loops in here, like that. Okay, um, let's break this up. This is going to be white anyhow. And I doubt I'm sticking with that material, but... Okay, let's go back in here. Now, uh, what I want to do is I think I'm going to take all of these... And bevel. I'll go back and solid. Like that. And then I'll come in and I'll grab the faces. Extrude them out a bit. Take the whole thing and scale it in the X. Give it some thick more thickness. thinking I could take these shifty bring them up here but possibly flip them oh, like rotate X 180 and see if that uh, and uh, scale in his head too just have a look at that and see if that looks any good I think that's what I would probably do 
question is, is this one uh, maybe put up out a bit? Uh, actually, and is this one gotta go in? What's that? Why? Again, yes. I have a bit of a, a bit of a wall. I have to render that to see uh, what that's looking like in reality. to me you know so I think I have to now I'd start adjusting that thing do I have this as a group I don't think I do eh? no okay so just like that and all these pieces here and I'm gonna go control G say before I crash Let's scale shift Z actually, and then scale, and then scale. simple so we can make it simple too that'll be the last thing for this video let's go to a new layer and shift C move the 3d cursor right there I'll go to the front view and I'm gonna go shift a bash circle and I'm gonna use 12 vertices rotate X 90 Go to edit mode and vertex, and I'm going to bore select or box select those and delete them. Take those two points, I'm going to go E and uh, SX, I'm going to pull them out like this. All right, I'm going to select, uh, then I'm going to scale in the Z a bit first. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to head to hit E, and I'm just going to pull them up like this, and I'm going to SZ0. And then I'm going to scale in the X. I'm going to do that. Scale the X a little bit more. Now I'm just debating if I want to pull these down. It's going to be helpful in any way to me. I might try and shape this a bit. Perhaps I should be using proportional editing. This is not going to make much difference, but. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, uh, I'll select it from the side. E, I'll give it some thickness this way. And I'm gonna add an edge loop here, or a loop cut there. And I'm gonna need one down here. 
here, and probably more down there. And I'm gonna bring one up here. And then we'll go ahead and put on subdivision and we'll see what else we need. No, not that. That's not what I want. Go for two and smooth. Okay, and down here. Uh, I'm gonna bring an edge loop out here and in. Ah, uh, yeah, because of the curving, I might be mucking things up. Let's. Yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Mm. Shouldn't have got all excited about doing it that way. Well. Can I fix this? If I can do that kind of thing, it's not perfect yet by any means. Mm, not very perfect at all, my friends. So, we're a wireframe, right? We'll see. visible anyhow but we could we could play with this then and maybe mirror it maybe you know I'm not gonna barely see that anyhow I was gonna just do flat top and then it would have been just simpler and uh, wouldn't have to bother with that. All right, whatever. I'm not even gonna mirror it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the same kind of thing on the other side. I'm just gonna play. I think I am. What did I do? I'll grab all these and G. see any closer than that so let's we'll get rid of the bottom faces that'll help a little bit I wonder if I can just uh, control plus yeah X faces okay we'll have that now let's Take this though and move it back and start getting some size thing, uh, sizes because that's going to be a rather large abacus. I feel like the room is okay. This this thing is all. Uh, I feel like that thing that thing's all off in its size. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just work on this thing. Then. Let's move that back to an, uh, into its own layer here. So let's uh, try. Um, let's actually let's just origin geometry and uh, geometry or mm, origin of three D cursor and geometry or let's 
recenter everything. Now, bring it back up. And we'll mirror this. Where are you? Oh. Bring in a uh, cylinder. Like, jeez, can I even do eight sides? And I'll rotate this in the X ninety. And scale and then scale shift Y. It's gonna be so small. Scale in the Y. And then even though it's smoothing, you know. That's all. Now I need 10 of these. And they don't have to be right there. Let's try this. Let's control A, rotation and scale in case I needed that. Let's array this in the Z. Let's work on getting 10 of them. And then... <clears throat> now sometimes these are angled. Oh, I need more space. Sometimes they're angled. I might be wanting to do that. But uh, let's see. On the other hand, I could just probably get away with that. Now, I'm also going to take this and bring it back, get rid of the array, and take that one and scale shift Y and make it bigger because there are a couple of these things here. There's one here, and there's another one down here, and it could be, they could be at different positions. There's that kind of thing as well. I'm going to bring in a circle and I'm going to stick with I think 16 sides I'm going to uh, rotate X90 and scale it way down and I'm going to try making some discs for this so I'm going to just move it to there and then scale it down until it just about fits. There it is. E S. Oh, make sure you're in S. E and S. fit so far and I can actually even make them bigger and then what we'll do is what will we do well I think I gotta, I'm gonna have to do this and so what I'll do is I'll take the inside here and I'll just scale it in no not like that I'll alt s and bring it in And that 
might be fine for what I'm doing. I just want to double check. Spacing, yeah, it does, they do fit. I'm small here. Oops. So the idea is um, this one would have an array in the Y. One point. I'll go with 1.2 just for the moment. And uh, it would have two set the rotation and scale. And then if I took it, uh, what do I want to be? Front. No, 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 three. Sorry. Uh, and I copied them down here. This one would have three. And then the next one would have four. I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead with that. Shift D, we'll try that. There's my baby monitor. Some of them have 10 in all of them, and some of them have are, are like this. I like this kind. Yeah. Well, I kind of do want to want to have them mangled. Maybe not. Maybe not right there though. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take those and all of these guys. I'm moving forward. What if I just arbitrarily rotate them? I mean, I think it, I think it passed as an abacus. That's it. No one's going to inspect it close up. I wouldn't think. Let's uh, control G and make it a group. Let's. Move her back to here. For now. No, actually, I think I liked it like that for now. Okay, and let's, in material view, I was thinking of using, uh, no, no, I'm gonna use a different color wood, I think. Let's actually load in um, that one, there's the girl, and there it is. sort of simulate see this has got one and two and three sort of simulate uh, that wood there let's make a new one um, I'll do principal and kind of pick that it might be a little bit similar to the floor yeah and I think I wanted uh, a light a light a lighter wood Maybe this. It's not exactly wood cut, but <clears throat> I 
Oh, what happened? Oh, very cute. <coughs> Alright, well, we'll mess around with that. So let's uh, get this going here. Uh, I'm going to do it all like that, though. And that's probably not going to be the final color. This, though, can be smoothed. And then we'll uh, do um, the beads, and I'll go with this. It's okay, so we'll just make them. Um... All right, whatever. Do principle. I'm not color picking, it's just blue. Maybe they're supposed to repeat. Whatever. Hello. And let's go for blue again. Make it a bit different. <clears throat> and fix this up. Originally, I had this as uh, that same uh, wood I had here. So I go with that for now. It's okay. Hmm? And some stuff, shelves, and I don't know, stuff like that. Let's give it a quick uh, test render, and uh, we'll just see see how she's looking so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some work on this, touch this up, I think, a little bit, and maybe make it a bit narrower, and uh, we'll adjust the scale of everything and the materials. We'll do some kind of floor and some other stuff. It's starting to look a little bit like a kid's room. So we'll see you in the next video.